All right, hey everybody, this is Joe Murphy with Allegheny Immigration Group. We're getting some great results with that Immigration Through Marriage special that we've been running and will be running through October 14th. And that is a $1,000 legal fee for a green card through marriage. Now there's been some confusion because there are some other costs involved. We don't get those, they're costs that go to the government. Uh, there's some filing start. fees that are payable to USCIS. They total $1,760. Uh, and there's also a medical exam requirement, and that, that price varies depending upon where in the world the non-citizen spouse comes from. There are different uh, health concerns in different parts of the world, and USCIS wants to make sure that the non-citizen spouse has been examined and isn't carrying some horrible communicable disease. So the $1,000 special does not include legal uh, filing fees. It's only for legal. The filing fees on top of the 1000 to us, there's a filing fees of 1760 to USCIS. We, we don't get that money. Uh, that's the government filing. Okay, so the next thing that has been a subject of confusion is that your citizen spouse, the one filing for their non-citizen spouse, has to demonstrate the ability to support that non-citizen spouse. And that's done, generally it's done by checking the income, the income reported on the citizen spouse's income tax return in relationship to the family size um, of people that are dependent upon the citizen spouse. So in a simple case, it's just the citizen spouse and the non-citizen. That would be a family size of two because you count the citizen spouse as dependent upon their own income. For a family size of two, the citizen spouse has to show income of $21,137 per year. And that's done by filing really a most recent uh, uh, three tax returns with the marriage paperwork. Uh, for a family size of three, that is if one or the other spouse has a kid, uh, the family size three, the, the guideline amount is 26,662. And for a family of four, the amount is 32,187. Now, if, if you've got a bigger family size, I don't want you to worry about that. Just give us a call and we'll help you calculate the, uh, the minimum number. Family size is calculated by counting the citizen spouse, the alien spouse, and any dependents that either of them have. So if each of them has two kids, that would be a family size of six, and, and you need to call us or check the I, uh, USCIS website for the amount of support that you need to be able to uh, show the ability to support. Uh, a second way where people don't have such amounts of income but have significant assets, and that could be real estate, money in the bank, stocks, things of that nature, uh, is you can demonstrate that although you don't have that kind of income, you have assets from which you could support your non-citizen spouse. Uh, and we would help you with that too. That's, that's not as common, but it is something that people do from time to time. And if you're in that situation, please feel free to contact us. We'll be happy to help you with that. Um, and then the, the, the last way that people do it where they don't have uh, the income or assets to support the, the foreign spouse they wanna get a green card for is by use of what's called a co-sponsor. And that would be another person who would uh, co-sign, like co-signing a, I don't wanna use the <laughs> car loan, but it's not the same thing, but obviously they would be co-sponsoring. They'd be joining in the sponsorship of this intending alien. Usually that's a family member. Um, now, when you have a co-sponsor, the thing you have to remember is you add to the family size, the co-sponsor and any of the dependents of the co-sponsor. So if you, if you had a co-sponsor that had two kids of their own, uh, that would add three people to the family size, and, and that, that could be difficult for because uh, <laughs> the amount that's required goes up with the family size. Uh, another thing that I'd, I'd like you to think about, too, is that the co-sponsor ought to have on their own enough to sponsor everyone. That, that'll make it a lot uh, smoother for things to go through where that's the case. So those were two issues that have caused a lot of confusion. I hope some of that's been cleared up. And if you have any questions, again, feel free to call me. My name is Joe Murphy. I'm a lawyer with Allegheny Immigration Group here in Pittsburgh. My office number is 412-586-4131. My personal WhatsApp is 412-973-3442. There'll probably be a little button you can click to WhatsApp me uh, added to this later.